Other big story, two big things to come out of the scandal surrounding Virginia Beach Mayor Will Sessoms. Both happened as we were going on the air with Wavy News 10 Midday. Town Bank announced it placed Sessoms on paid administrative leave and the bank will conduct a review of the mayor's voting practices. Just minutes later, Commonwealth's attorney uh, Colin Stolle said he will step away from this case if it gets prosecuted. We are covering the story from all angles, including 10 of your side investigative reporter Chris Horn with reaction from city council. Chris? Yeah, Nicole, Virginia Beach City Councilman told me that every elected official these days, doesn't matter what level, local, state, federal, seems to be especially sensitive to conflict of interest. So I asked him why, and he said, well, there's several reasons. The McDonald trial is one, higher expectations on the part of the voters, and the problems that arise when perception becomes reality. Like Mayor Will Sessoms, Brad Wilson is in Virginia Beach city government and wears two hats. He serves on council, but also runs an engineering business. If you had a situation where you were voting on something that involved one of your clients, mm -hmm. one of your engineering clients, would you recuse yourself? Oh, absolutely. There's okay. no choice. And again, that gets back to the good advice that we get from our city attorney's office. Sessoms is in trouble because he did vote on matters involving clients of his employer, Town Bank. Martin says it's more than just the votes that get politicians in hot water. The interactions, the conversations, being a part of the discussion, you've got to abstain from all of that, I think, to, to really um, keep the public trust. Martin says following the public corruption trial and conviction of former Governor Bob McDonnell and his wife, the bar has been set even higher for public officials. The public um, elects us to these positions and they have every expectation and every right to expect that we're doing everything above board. Tom and Nicole, you mentioned earlier that the Commonwealth Attorney's Office in Virginia Beach recused itself from the investigation. Martin says he's happy about that. The reason that office does get some funding from the city. Live in Virginia Beach, Chris Horn, 10 on your side. 10 on your side looked at the complete list of directors for Town Bank. Mayor Sessoms isn't the only local mayor on the boards. Mayor Paul Frame is a Norfolk director as well as a member of the Hampton Roads Board. Suffolk Mayor Linda Johnson is a Portsmouth director. Suffolk doesn't have its own town bank board. We spoke to a member of the Tidewater Libertarian Party who says the General Assembly needs to take a closer look at the conflict of interest laws. No one on any elected position that has any financial dealings should ever be allowed to sit in on an executive session where any of their projects are being discussed. We reached out to both mayors, Frame and Johnson, to see if they were concerned about possible conflicts of interest. Neither have answered our questions. It's important to note here, neither Frame nor Johnson bring in a paycheck from Town Bank. Sessoms is not only a director on the Virginia Beach Board, but also a president of the financial group. Wavy.com has a lot more on the Sessoms voting scandal, all of the documents we received today, along with Andy Fox's original report. And a link to the Town Bank board members can be found attached to this story right there on the home page right now.